back for another video, and today we are going to be reviewing the Astronomy Tower. The, I guess it's the biggest of the, uh, I'm pretty sure this is the biggest in terms of tallest and piece-wise of the new uh, 2020 Harry Potter sets. This retails for $99 or 100 USD. And comes with a real array of minifigs. Just an absolute bundle of them. Re why am I recording out here? Well, one, I am cleaning up the base plates I use in there and just kind of dusting it all. And I do have to kind of get a video out today, so I could do that. Another reason why is because this set is so big, it does not fit in my area. And I tried to rearrange it, tell me it just wouldn't fit. So I gotta kind of record out here. Might do a new setup one day that will let me record stuff like this. Actually, a freaking gigantic setup. But for right now, this is all I have. It's, it's kind of annoying, but yeah. I actually think that this set is really good value, but last was well, let's not waste too much time and get right into it. Starting out with the minifig. So we have Hermione Granger here in her Loghorn Festival outfit. Which is pretty nice. Again, reminds me a lot of the 2010 Hermione Granger. See the hairpiece. Now, the, the real cool thing about this figure is that she has dual molded legs. Now the feet are not separate molded because they don't go onto the back. But dual molded legs, you see, you don't see. That's a, a bit of a rare occurrence. Um, to see how many figures. Of course, the printing is absolutely outstanding on the front and back. Let's take off the hairpiece, get a better look at the back, and get a better look at those two face prints, which I'm pretty sure are the same from the other sets. The uh. A Forbidden Forest, an Umbridge's Encounter, and the uh, Rumor Requirement. So, yeah, that's saying. <laughs> and then we have Slughorn himself. And we did get him in like a Halloween type set figure pack thing. Um, I actually think this one's better than that one. It's, I think, I mean, we don't have the little like coloring on the hair. To make his hair look older, but I think they did a really nice job with the printing, especially on that torso. It is absolutely outstanding. And then the printing on the legs there. Back printing. And I'm not quite sure if the other one had had a second face, but this one has a second face. So that's pretty nice. And then we also have Draco Malfoy. Um oh and she has a Karen wand, brown wand, and a book. Which, that is a sticker on the front. And then some, st and then there's actually two stickers on this book. The writing inside the sticker, and then the outside the sticker. And then you see Draco Malfoy here. Got the hairpiece, I'm pretty sure it's the same as Slughorn's. Might be mistaken there. Pretty, got the face there. You can see his second facial expressions pretty mad or like grinning. I'm not quite sure. And then, and it's got the normal, um, kind of Hogwarts robes, just kind of like, just kind of like, <laughs> just, I, I don't know, it's got, I like flying all over the place as robes. So, yeah, he, he's just got a wand. So, yeah, that's really it for Draco. Lavender Brown here is interesting because he uses a friend's hair piece with a bow on the back. So the reason why I know that is because this is rubber and my sister gets Lego friends. So, of course, I've had my fair share of Lego friends. See, so it uses a very similar hair piece to Hermione, but I'm glad they actually did put a different face in Hermione. Well, this might actually be the same face as Hermione in another set, maybe, but... Because it looks kind of familiar, but I might be mistaken. It got some really nice torso print, no leg print, which is kind of sad, but it's fine. Of course, the bow is a separate piece that you can attach from the back of the hair piece. 
And then the back of the torso is pretty nice. Just a lot of really nice printing. Ron Weasley is pretty similar in the level of detail. Also, she has an orange wand. Ron Weasley is pretty similar in the level of detail. Got that hair piece. You got kind of a worried face and it's got like a disgusted face. Kind of an odd face there, hair Ron. And then you can see she's got the torso print is also really nice on this figure. Just an outstanding torso print. Back torso print is also pretty amazing. No leg print, same as um, a lavender. And then we have Harry Potter himself. Got some amazing torso printing and leg printing. Turn it around back. Just very, very simple back printing. But the front leg and torso printing is pretty good. Got a dark brown wand. And then the same face that all of the newer Harrys have. Mad face and stuff. And then he's got the Tony Stark hair piece. Luna Lovegood here um, with her hair piece. The hair piece and head are the same as him in some other sets. But the dress is new. She also, just like Hermione, has dual molded legs. Which is awesome to see. The dress is absolutely outstanding. Like, they, they did an amazing job. Back, you know, if you watch my rumor requirements review, you already know the back of the, of Luna, but if you haven't, there, what, there it was. And then we have Neville. Again, no, like, printing for Neville, but a pretty, a pretty just normal printing for the torso, and then for the light, for, and then for the back. Pretty standard printing, but it's still nice to get Neville in a set. His hairpiece is pretty interesting, though. I'm not quite sure if this is... I don't think it's new. I'm pretty sure we've gotten it before, but might be mistaken. There's his, there's the front of his head. And there's the back of his head. And then he... There, they actually used a pretty nice thing here. They used a sealed piece, and then put glass on it to make it look like a stray. And then he's also got a wand. So yeah, that's it for the mini figures there. Now let's go ahead and get on to the builds. We're taking a look at all the builds separately. So we have the... Little table of street stuff. The chocolate, I think a chocolate like fountain. Ew, they did a pretty good job on this. Um, design wise, they did a really good job. You have some printed waffles, three of them here. And then some, I forget what pastry this is, but it's like England pastry. If anyone from the UK is going to kill me because I don't know what that is. I, I, I've i eaten this before, but I don't know what it is. And then we have this. These, like, cupcakes. Um, there's a bunch of them here. Six cupcakes. And then the actual build is freaking amazing. They did a really good job on the build here. But, yeah, that's about it for these this little thing. Here is the garden. Now, I think they did an amazing job on this, as usual. You can see all the pieces. So just starting off on this side, you can see there's a bunch of windows. You can open them, but it's pretty hard because of all the mandrakes. We'll get to those in a minute. See all the leaf. There's some leaf detail on the outside. That's pretty nice. This side, you just have some like stones and stuff on our little plant. This is to connect it to other sex in the Hogwarts or the actual astron astronomy tower. Um, which you saw at the beginning. You can open and close this door, obviously. Inside, you can see there is some mandrake. There's actually one mandrake because there's supposed to be a bunch, but I couldn't find the rest. So, one mandrake it is. You can see the printing on that mandrake. It's the same for all the other mandrakes, so it doesn't really matter. Just know that you get a bunch of mandrakes in this set. And then on the other side, you can see there's just an open door here this roof though they did an amazing job designing and doing this roof um you can take off the top and you can see these are ninjango pieces used and it, it's it's really nice so that's it for the garden here is this section um they did a pretty nice job there's some stones on the outside some little plants growing on the outside this was pretty nicely built my only gripe with this is that the sticker's not the same color as this, but that's 
It's, 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 I can get behind it. This whole look here is amazing. I love how they did it. Um, just these circular pieces are also really well, well built. Like, they did an amazing job building that. I put that on wrong, but that's fine. These pillars are also amazing. They just did a really nice job. They also did a nice job on the roof. On the interior, you can see the, uh, like, lamp thing here. You can, like, do that. You can also open the door, obviously. And then there's a, there's some, like, area where you can have teats. That, that's, it's pretty interesting phrase, but you can have people teach there. Pretty interesting there. Now we're on to the astronomy tower. Um, this is a humongous tower, obviously, so it's not waste too much time because my battery's running low. So you got some plants just kind of sewing out here, some stones going on to the inside. Nicely built here. You get like a little lantern for the Slughorn Festival there. Broom. Just someone there. Pretty nice. And then we also got Slughorn's office, which is, there's some stickers in there, sticker there. Ravenclaw, really nice to get a representation for Ravenclaw in this set. So you can see there's a Ravenclaw banner there. Some beds that you can sit some Ravenclaw people in. And then you have a Daily Prophet thing and a book. That book's got a sticker on it. And then you also have a candle piece there, just amazing here. As you get up, this is a giant like part of the tower. The actual astronomy area, this is pretty nice. It can spin around. I think that's an Ninjago bone a piece. Might be mistaken there. You can also stand a figure in here. No studs to actually attach them though. And then the roof is kind of it kind of just sits here. Doesn't isn't that really attached by anything. Then in here we have the scroll. We've got some nice detail. Well that's actually a sticker there. And then you can also see that there's a um the telescope thing. That's their really nice telescope. And then you can see the outside just looks absolutely amazing. Absolutely nice. And then there's also a sticker here. This looks amazing too. Like this part of the actual astronomy tower is amazing. So yeah, let's go ahead and go on to my final opinion. Honestly, this set is a great value. It took me around an hour, maybe two. No, no, not two hours. And I think hour and a half, maybe two, to build this entire set. Now, I'm not the fastest builder in the world. It took me, like, 15 to 20 minutes to build a 500 battle pack, which is kind of slow compared to some other people, so. But your time could definitely change whether you are way better at building than me. And all that. I think the set is a pretty must. I mean, it's not a must, but if you're getting all the parts of Hogwarts, it's obviously a must. I can't wait to see what they do with Hogwarts next year, because this is kind of the rumor requirement is kind of part of Hogwarts, but this is the real big Hogwarts set. So I can't wait to see what they do with a Hogwarts set um, for next year. So yeah, everyone, that's going to do it for this video. Hope you all enjoyed. I still have one more little Harry Potter set to review, so stay tuned for that, but it's very small little figure pack. So yeah, hope you all enjoyed this this video, everyone. See y'all next time. Bye-bye.